sure that they're important, that the world's not going to give a shit about them. Yeah. And 99% uh, of my content was aimed at men. It had nothing to do with women at all. Yeah. They attacked me with this misogyny garbage. But the truth is, is 99% of my content was aimed at men telling them the truth, saying that as a man, you're born with no inherent value. You have to become important. You have to go through some pain or go through some suffering to make people care about you. Otherwise, you're not going to matter. And, and when I say this about the difference between men and women, they think I'm attacking females. Absolutely not. I'm not attacking women. I'm just saying that a woman can wake up, put makeup on, go to the club or go to the party and still be a jewel. She still exists. People still want her. Mm -hmm. As a dude, if you walk into the party and you put no effort into your life, nobody gives a shit. Mm -hmm. Nobody gives yeah. a shit about you. And every man out here knows. And one of the great things about the masculine journey and masculinity is that we've all lived a semi-similar story. It's kind of cool. Like we've all been the teenager, gets heartbroken. We've all been unimportant. We've all like worked hard and then started to get some clout. And then we've all kind of lived the same kind of journey. So I say to everybody out there, yeah, if you don't follow that path and follow that journey and, and in one way or another get to the top, whether it's fighting, whether it's comedy, whether it's musician, whatever it is, if you're just going to stay somewhere near the bottom and then at the age of 44, you know, email me saying I'm depressed. Da, da, da. Well, of course you're depressed because you're a fucking loser. Yeah. But that was your choice mm -hmm. because you, you have to build yourself as a man. And if you decide not to build yourself, then, then your life's going to suck. And this also comes into, I think even maybe you may have, uh, one of, I saw one of your TikToks. It was really good. And I think it was, um, yeah, it was you training. And I think it might have been one of the things I said. Before. Oh, I said, yeah, 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 yeah. Why, yeah, why would up. I have mercy on somebody who doesn't, who do, why would I see somebody as my equal? Why would I sit there and see you as my equal when I've suffered my entire life to be valuable and you've refused to suffer and just sit around on your ass mm -hmm. all the time? Good. When I've gone through endless pain yeah. to be the man I am and then you just sit there and, and talk like we're equals. We're not equals. I've been through shit. You decided not to go through shit. That's fine. That was your life decision. That's your prerogative. Yeah. But you have to live with those decisions. Mm -hmm. You can't complain now that I get to be top G and you don't. <laughs> that, was yeah. your, that was your choice. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's kind of, that's the thing about being a man. And that's what I was saying to the kids. It's like, look, you need to get up and it's going to be very, very difficult. The world's getting harder and harder, especially for men. It's all clout. It's all status. It's all, it, there's no way you're going to matter unless you get up and you work extremely hard. And, uh, for some reason they thought I was toxic and I had to be deleted, but yeah, I think, I but it's other reasons. And then they, then, then they promote Jeffrey Dahmer. They have Jeffrey Dahmer costumes. Jeffrey Dahmer's all over YouTube. It's all a big Netflix. Netflix thing. Yeah. Everyone loves him. It's this great thing. I'm like, he fucking oh. chopped him up. Yeah, you know, it's, it's. It's kind of weird because I, to a degree, maybe about seven, eight years ago, thought of myself as an atheist. And now I am absolutely and utterly religious. And I'm religious because the, the, you can't believe in Satan without believing in God. And I look around me and I just see evil everywhere. 